Hey everyone, today we're going to add a temperature probe to my reflow oven. Okay, the surgery is not going to be that drastic, but there are still a few hurdles that we need to overcome. We're going to take one of these K-type temperature probes, which I picked up from my local electronics store for, I think, $12. Okay, that's it here. It's designed to plug into my multimeter. So the idea is to drill a hole in the back of this unit, put the probe through and have it hot glued to the end so that way it can actually go fairly far into the back of the unit and get a good all round temperature reading rather than the one that came with the unit which is about a centimetre in length. So the, the main issue with this particular unit, no it's not, not currently plugged in, is that at the back it's got this extruded piece. I'm not quite sure what it's there for, or what these are here for. Maybe to stop it from uh, touching the wall, for instance, if someone pushed it back too far. But the problem I've got is, that's actually quite a far distance. It's about three centimeters or so. Ideally, I want to have the temperature probe sitting right up the back like this, so it can go quite far into the unit and give me a, a pretty good reading around the center of the unit. If I put it through here at the back, in the middle, I'm actually going to lose about three centimeters off the length of the probe, which means I'm only going to have to go this far into the, the central area of the back and beyond. So what I'm thinking of doing is drilling here, not quite in the square area because that's getting too low in the unit. I want it further up. I want it just under the grill. So if I drill on the angle just here, it means that the probe will come up in on an angle. I can get it as close as possible back to the center, attaching here rather than up here, and on a bit of an angle so it can still have the tip of the probe roughly in the center of the toaster. That's the theory. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna work. I'm gonna obviously attach it with hot glue on this end. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get the angle perfectly right. I don't want it to obstruct the grill. Nothing worse than not being able to pull the grill in and out. So I have to be very careful with placement, but ideally I would like the probe to be sitting about there inside to get a good reading of the temperature. So it should be pretty straightforward. Just need to drill a hole in the back, push the probe in, hot glue it into place, get the angle right so it doesn't obstruct the tray, but get it as close to the center as possible so I get a pretty average reading across the whole oven. Then it can sit behind here and my multimeter can sit to the side and I can watch that, watch the temperature on there and hopefully get a better idea of what's happening inside the oven. Because the, the way I do it right now, it's pretty funny. I'll turn the oven on and I'll set it to 80 degrees and I'll wait and I'll wait and I'll keep waiting. And then when I think it's gonna be around 80 degrees, I'll go that feels around 80 degrees. I'll close it, let it go for another 30 seconds because I just opened it and changed the temperature. And then I'll grab my boards and put them in. By the time I put my boards in, place them and close it, the temperature's probably dropped to 60 again anyway. And so I have no idea where it is from that point onwards. Then it's all luck. So rather than using luck, I'm gonna use a probe so I can at least get a rough idea what the temperature is. This is uh, by no means an the most expert way of doing it, but it's better than the way I have been doing it. Okay, let's get going. Okay, I'm gonna drill this in two parts. I'm gonna use a, a fairly thin drill bit to start with, and then a thicker bit. Here goes. Switch the bit out. Okay. Probe goes in goes up to the plastic. I can hot glue that in place, just there. I'm also worried about the back of the oven heating up, because that's obviously what happens with this metal plate here, and melting the hot glue. That'll be interesting, I'll have to see what happens with that. But um, let's have a, a bit of a glue. Okay, so that's the mess of hot glue I've made. As you can see, it's a nice pile. Should be enough to at least do some tests with. If that melts, then I'll have to find a different way of mounting. We're about to do a test to see both how accurate 
the oven is and the sensor is and how long it takes to get up to temperature. I've got my phone here so I can time it. Full disclosure, this is already saying 31 degrees and that is because I started running this test already and about a minute and a half into it, the battery in my multimeter died. <laughs> Fantastic, hey? So I have to run this test again. I'm just too lazy to let it cool all the way back down again. It was starting at a, a base temperature of 24 degrees when I first plugged into the multimeter. I'm using an Xtech EX330 auto ranging multimeter. It's currently set to Celsius. Let's turn this on and see how long it takes to get up to temperature and how accurate it is. So I'm gonna set it to 80 degrees. Start the timer. Let's see how it goes. So when I normally do my reflow, I turn the oven on to 80 and let it sit for about a minute and a half. It'll be interesting to see how close we get to 80 degrees at the one and a half minute mark. This is uh, rising much slower than I expected. Okay, one and a half minute mark, we're only at 52 degrees. Just over two minutes and we're at almost 60 degrees. Just over three minutes and we're 70 degrees. It is still rising, so it's trying to get to 80, but it's taking quite a while. Okay, once it hits 80 degrees, I'm gonna lap it and I'm gonna then push it to 190. Okay, here we go, lap. And let's go to 190. I'm curious to see how fast it can get to 190 and whether the hot glue at the back of the oven actually holds and doesn't melt. So I do know the oven reaches 190 quite well because obviously I do reflow in it and it definitely reflows all the solder paste. Okay, so it's taken 100, uh, sorry, one minute and 15 seconds to get up another 40 degrees. So it's obviously climbing much faster to get to the 190 mark. Okay, we're at the two minute mark, 151 degrees. And 190. Okay, so 190 degrees, overall seven minutes, 24. To go from 80 to 190, took three minutes, 26. To go from around 30 to 80, which is only 50 degrees, took three minutes, 58. So obviously once the oven elements kick in, it really kicks it forward. Unfortunately, the hot glue at the back of the oven melted. Uh, not all of it, but there was definitely a stream of it going down the back of the toaster oven. So I need to find a different solution for mounting the probe. If anyone's got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm sure there are other people that have done something similar. I'll do some hunting on the internet. But the hot glue, well, it worked this time, but it's not gonna work in the future. So there you have it. I can now check the reflow oven temperature with my multimeter and I can uh, hopefully be a little bit more accurate with my reflowing of my PCBs. A little less guessing, a little more accuracy, couldn't go astray. Don't forget to like or dislike, that button works well too. Please leave comments, ask questions, share, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.